much for that. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to BAR. And happy St. Patty's Day. I hope you have your green on and will enjoy a wonderful Irish meal along the way today. Anyway, for BAR today, you want to make sure you've got something that's going to support you that is solid. It might be a chair, it might be a kitchen counter, dresser, whatever it is that will help you when we need balance, help. Also, if you have footing on that is a grip footing, if you're on tile floor or hardwood, that is helpful, and some light weights. I am also using today the Versa tube. It is a just green tube that I can put around my ankles or my thighs a little later on. If you don't have that, don't worry about it. It just adds a little bit of difficulty to the movements we're doing. With that said, if there's anything I'm doing that doesn't feel quite right for your body, please take a modification that I might give or omit the exercise entirely and join us when you are comfortable. All right, ready to go? Let me hit the music. Starting as we always do, please. Feet are hip distance apart and parallel. Take a look down at your toes. Go ahead and lift your toes and lower them. So as you lift your toes up, please spread them wide apart. Remember, we always begin like this because we want to make sure we're getting articulation and movement from our feet all the way up our body. All right, next time your toes are up, hold them up, spread them apart, big toe only, tap. Big toe only, tap, tap. Good, that's it, good. Now all 10 toes up again, pinky toe only is tapping. Try to keep all the other toes from hitting the floor. That's it, let's read, alternate, big toe, pinky toe. And then pull them up, play the piano. So big toe hits, second toe, third toe, fourth toe, pinky. All the way through, how's that work? This is the hard one. Let's reverse that piano, pinky toe, fourth toe, third, much easier that direction for me. How about you? Excellent. All right, and relax that movement. Go ahead and roll through your left and right ankle, pressing the landing pad of your foot or your metatarsal bones down into the floor, nice and firm. Good, get the ankles going. Excellent, we've got four, three, two, both heels down. Go ahead and roll through the ankles side to side. Uh, you might feel that they're a little stiff, you might feel a few cracks in there. Awaken the ankle. That's it. For four, three, two, and one. Relax and go ahead and relevate and release. Or give me that calf raise. Now, at this point, if you already feel you need to hold on to something, go right ahead. That's fine. Remember, you've got a screen in your head pulling you straight up and dropping you back down. Excellent. Warming up the calves. Up and hold. Pulse it up. Eight, seven, six. Good. Four, three, two, and one. Feet come a little bit wider and part about shoulder distance. Give me your best squat. Here we go. Move that movement up into your thighs. Let's get those warmed up as well. Remember, tailbone is back in your squat. Down and up. Good. Squat. Four more. Here's four. Three. Excellent. Pulse it down for three. You pulse three, two, right knee up on four. Good. Pulse. Two. Left knee up. Good. Now, as you stand up, really open up that standing hip right here. Down. Feel a nice stretch in your right hip here. That's it. Good. Three more. On the next one, hold your left knee up. Find your balance right here. You ready? Extend your leg out, flex your foot, push your heel away, bend and extend. First chance to balance this morning. Hold on if you need to. Good, four more. Here's four. Here's three. Two. Out and hold. I want you to turn your left foot out slightly. Step forward, curtsy down. Notice my back heel is lifted, and step back. Curtsy down, lift. Slight turn out with my left leg. Knee is soft, right here. Good, just four more. Four, remember this move for later. Three, nice. Here's the 
there's two. Hold it on this one. Bring the knee square, right square. Send your leg back, rock your left heel down. Nice calf stretch right here. Go ahead, just shift forward slightly, keep the left heel down, and come back. Shift, and come back. Good, again, shift, and come back. One more time, let's hold it forward. Raise the back heel and drop. Here we go. Lift and lower. You've got four, three, two. Up and hold. Hold it up. Transition your weight to your right leg. Send your left leg back down. Point your toe. You ready? Pulse it. Eight, seven, six. Give me four, three, two, and one. Bring your feet together. Turn them out. Releve up and down. Good. Lift and lower. That's it. Lift. Four more right here, Sheila. Four. Good. Three. Body's still warming up. Up and hold. Pulse it. Eight. Seven. Six. Good. Four. Three. Two. And one. Turn your feet parallel. Shoulder distance apart. Swan it down. And down. Good. Four more single squats. Three. You ready? Single squat, knee drive up. Squat, right knee up. Squat, left. Good, squat. And up, you got it. Nice. You ready? Hold it right here. Right knee up. Extend your leg out, flex your foot, push your heel away, and bend. Extend, that's it. Nice. How's your balance on this side? Good. Better? Couple more like this. Good. One more. Hold it out. Give me that slight turn out. You ready? Curtsy down. My back heel, my left heel comes up. And find balance right there. Curtsy. Come up. Yes. Control movement. You're not hurrying it. Good. That's it. You've got four more. Here's four. Excellent. Here's three. Two, one, and hold. Square your leg, send it back, drop your right heel. Feel that nice calf stretch right here. Yes, go ahead and shift forward slightly and back. Try to keep your right heel down. Try to keep that right heel down. You ready? Hold it forward, raise it up, and drop it. Lift and lower. Good. Lift. Four more. Up and hold, hold it up. Transition your balance to your left leg. Send your right leg back. You ready? Pulse it. Eight, seven, six, four, three, two, and one. Bring your feet together. Open and close your feet. Open, close. Good, now a little bit of that rotation through your hips. And your glutes as we get ready to go into our first position plie. Two more. Holding it open on this one. Plie down and up. You go down and up. Now, first plie of the morning. My reminder always tail on the floor, knees go out over the middle of your foot, shoulders relaxing down, and you're looking straight ahead. Right? If for some reason it's too much in your knees, Simply take your feet a little wider. Plie down and up, right? Let's add on right here. Plie, releve, straighten, and drop. Plie, releve, straighten, and drop. Good. Plie, releve, straighten, and drop. Four more. Here's three. Two. One more time. Hold it right here in that straightened position. Bring your heels together, plie down. One, two, and lift. Good, take it down. Two, now with your heels pushing together, you can take that plie lower, right? Yes, take it down. Two, and lift. You've got four more like this, down. Two, keep thinking about your thighs, the back of your thighs or your knees, reaching towards 
against the wall behind you. That will help line them up over your feet. You ready to speed this up? Single count. Eight. Good. Seven. Nice. Six. You're beginning to feel your thighs. Yes. Two more. Down and hold. Pulse three, two, one, rise up. We go three, two, one, sweep and rise. It's three, two, one, excellent. Three, two, one, rise, good. Excellent. We've got a couple more right here. One more time. Take it down to your lowest point and hold. One inch up and back down. One inch. Oh, yeah. Hello, quadriceps. Woo! Come on, Ricky. Four. Three. Two. Are you ready? Pulse it up. Pulse up. 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 For four. That's it. Three, two, and one. All the way up and shake it off. Nice work. Go ahead and grab your weights. Three pounds or lighter, right? Feet turn out slightly, first position. You ready? Give me your V. Here we go. Gonna get through a few of our upper body muscles with this series. Up and hold, flip it, overhead press go. Eight, seven, good. Six. Up and hold, turn your palms to face each other, elbows forward, then to 90. Eight, skull pressures. Now your lower body's engaged, so make sure you've got your heels touching, squeeze from your buttocks all the way down, nice and firm right here. One more time, hold it up. Bring it all the way down. Parallel feet, bend your knees, hinge at the waist. Palms face the sky. Lift and lower. All right. Long spine. Stomach pulled in for four. Good. Three, two, and one. Hold it back. Turn your palms face each other. Pull it in. Eight, seven, six, five. Good. Four, three. Two, hold, bring your arms down. Transition your weight to your right leg. Send your left leg back. Right knees bent, give me a row right here. Eight, squeeze your shoulder blades together. Seven, that's it. Six, nice. You got it. Four, three, two, hold your arms down. Left leg lift and lower. Eight, only your big toe touches right there. Contract your thigh. Lengthen long with your hips square. Don't open up your left hip. You ready? Add the row with the leg lift. Here we go. Eight. Seven. That's it. Six. It's four. Three. Hold the arms down. Bring your right left knee all the way forward. Palms up. You ready? Bicep curls with extension. One. Now you're pointing your left toe. Extend. That's it. Woo! Come on. Four. Three. Two. And one. Hands down, feet together. Open. Close. Open. Now we're back to this, right? Just four more. Here's four. Very good. Three. Two. Hold them open. Give me that V, but this time I want you to come up on the balls of your feet. Squeeze your buttocks. Heels touching. Ready? Right here. Hold that balance for eight, seven, nine, six. You've got four more. Up and hold. Are you still balancing? Yes, Gail. Overhead. Eight. Keep squeezing together. Seven. You got it. Six. Exhale, four. Up and hold, palms face each other, bend your elbows. Let's do this, everybody. Are you still balancing? You just have four more, four, right here. Three, 
two, all the way up, arms come down, parallel feet, bend the knees, palms to the sky. Press and release. Back and hold. Remember, turn your palms to face each other. Pulse it in. Eight, seven, six, four, three, two, and one. Arms down. Transition your weight to your left leg. Right leg back. Just the big toe touches. Give me your rows. Eight. Squeezing your shoulder blades together as the arms come back. That's it. Breathe out as you pull. Four. Very nice. Three. Two. Hold your arms down, right leg, lift and tap. Good, your left knee stays bent, loading in your left glute. Very good, four more, here we go, four, three. Oh yeah, you ready? Add the row with the lift for eight. Okay, you got it. Here's four, three, two, one, arms down, pull your right knee through, bicep curl with the leg extension. Eight. Six. Lots of balance this morning already, right? You've got four more, Judy. Three. And one. Excellent. Place the weights down, grab a little hydration. Staying hydrated, especially as we're going to start getting some warmer temperatures. All right, go ahead and face your bar, chair, or dresser. If you've got a chair, remember I like to have your arms kind of holding onto the seat with a long spine. If you have the green tubing, go ahead and place it up and over your thighs, okay? So I'm just flipping this over my thighs. All right, forearm over forearm supports my back and puts me in a better position. All right, so feet are together for right now. Turn out slightly, so not a full position, first position, but slight turn out. Bend your left knee, right leg goes back, and the heel comes in. So I'm keeping my right foot flexed right now, and my right hip now is opening a little bit more because I started with that turn out. Nice control right here. Four more. Three. Two. And one. Bring it in. Now bend your right knee. Attitude. So that leg lifts slightly and the knees come back together. So front on, it looks like this. Out and back in, yeah? So you're working into your right glute right now. Little out and back in. Not moving too quickly. Point your left, right toes. Now, up and hold. Pulse. Eight, seven, six, four, three, two, and one. Bring your leg all the way down. Now take your feet parallel and forward. Stop in your left knee. Take your right leg back. Now, lift. So like we did a few minutes ago, hips now square. Four more. Three. Left knee stays in. You feel your left glute. Up and hold. Now tap diagonally out and lift up. Tap diagonal and lift. Eight. Seven. Good. Six. You got it. Five. Nine. Four. Up and hold, pulse, eight, four, three, two, and one. Bring your legs down, rounding your back for a minute. Very good. All right, turn your left side to the bar, right leg is out. So you're still working on your right leg. Soften the left knee to the side. Lift and lower. Little tap. Point your right toes, lengthen and lower. You've got eight. Very good. Seven. 
Six, feeling your legs, aren't you? Especially your glutes, I know. Four, good, three. Up and hold, pulse, eight, seven, six. Give me four, three, two, and one. Nice work. All right, guess what? We need to hit that other side. So, again, find your mid body position right away. Right knee bent, turn your feet out slightly. Take your left leg back. Lift and lower. So, flex your left foot. Lift and lower. Different foot position. Pointed and flex. Those are really two types of flexion, right? Dorsiflexion, plantar flexion. Up and hold. Hold three, two, one. Hold the heel together. Hold three, one, and pull it in. Three. Pull it in. Good. One more. Take your leg back. And now I need you to bend into that attitude position. Point your foot. Lift and lower. Right? So it looks like this front on. Slightly back behind you. Lift it out. Good. Oh, yeah. Four more. Four. Three. Two. Up and hold. Hold. Eight. Seven. Six. You've got four. Three. Two. And one. Bring it down. See your parallel? Stop in that right knee. Left leg back. Point your toe now. Lift. And lower. Lift. And lower. How's that right move doing? Right. You're working. Now you've got to stand on it. Four. I know. Three. Up and hold, diagonal, tap, and lift. Eight up. Seven. Six. Five, hang in there. Four. Three. Up and hold, hold. Eight. Seven. Four. Three. Two, and one. Bring your leg down. Excellent. All right. Soften the right knee, left leg. Out to the side. Good. Three, four, hello, five, yes, loose, six, up and hold, pulse for me, last eight, seven, four, Woo. and release, nice work, remove that chewing if you have it around your legs, all right, let's just give your hips a little stretch here. Take your left ankle on your right thigh and have a seat. Now, you should be sign relief. If you work it correctly, that stretch is going right into your glute max. Oh, yeah, let's switch sides to the other side. Excellent, and shake it all out. Go ahead and grab your weights for me, please. Let's go into your biceps. Feet turn out to first position, palms are up. Here we go, single count. Let's slow this down to two counts. Take it up, two, and lower, two. We go up, two, and lower, nice. Good slow control movement. You know what I'm about to tell you? Keep your arms to your body, right? Take it up, two. Again, we go up, two, lower two. Three, up, one down. Take it three, two, one, and lengthen. Good, pure movement, right? No hesitation. Up, two, three, and lengthen. Very good. A couple more to this tempo. One more time. All the way up, three down. Are you ready? Lift, lower, three, two, one. We go up and lower with good control. Again, lift, lower. Two more. Good. One more time. Bring it in front. Go all the way up. Pass. 
and close. Now, a little bit into the shoulder, but the bicep is holding that weight in an isometric hold. Let the shoulders do a little bit of external rotation for eight more. Seven, yes. Six. You've got four more. Four. Very good. Three. Come on, Mickey. Open and hold. Right here. Suspend your arms. Now give me biceps. So biceps suspended works into your shoulders as well. Nice smooth movement. You just have eight more. Seven. That's it. Six. Last two. Last one, bring your arms all the way in, pull them halfway. Go one inch up and down, just one inch like that. It's a very small movement. One inch and lower, one inch and lower. Now hold them and pulse them up. The movement is up. Two, three, give me four. Three, are you ready? All the way down, halfway up. Take it down, half. So with lighter weights, we're able to do a lot more reps, right? That's what we do in bar class specifically. Light weights, tire that muscle out with a lot of reps. Couple more, hold it halfway, give me that external rotation for eight, seven, squeeze it, six. Again, my arms glued to my body, palms are facing up. Hold them open, rise them up, suspended biceps. Eight, seven, right here. Six, good. Four, you got it. Three. One more time. Bring your arms in, hold them halfway, one inch down and up. One inch, that's it. Small, good movement. Two more, hold it halfway, pulse it down like you're going to drop the weight. Down, down, down. Give me four, three, full range, go. Alternate knee lifts as you do this. Full range, good, full range. Get your legs moving again because you're about to hit them. Oh yeah. Four more, here's four. One more and release it all down. Excellent. Shake it off. Grab a little hydration. Very good. All right. You just need one weight in your hand. One weight in your hand. Okay. So we're going to be, remember I talked about that little curtsy in the beginning? Yes. So you're going to take your left foot forward. Drop the right knee. I'm sorry, I said that wrong. Take the weight in your right hand, right foot comes forward. Curtsy down, right? So my left heel is lifting up and step back to tap. Just curtsy for right now and step back. Again, if you need to hold on to something, you do, right? So curtsy forward and step back. Now we're going to do an anterior movement with your shoulder. You ready? So step forward, reach, and step back. Step forward and reach and come back. Now, let's try and get your right foot higher. Step forward and reach, step back and hold. Bend and hold, yeah? Eight more right here. Seven, very good. Six, nice. Knees are going out two different directions. Four, three, You ready? Come here and hold. Now, send your right leg back. Left arm. I'm sorry, send your right leg back. Right arm is going to pull straight back and release. Straight back. Straight back. Nice. Pull through your shoulder blade for four, three, two. We're going to combine this movement. You ready? Bring your foot in. Step forward, anterior raise. Step back, extend. Pull it in. Ready? Step forward, tap, extend, back. Yes? Tap, extend. Nice. Got it? I'm 
for sure you do. Extend. Try to keep your standing leg, that's your left leg, bent right there, okay? How about four more? Good. Here's three. Nice. Here's two. One more time. Hold it right here. Little pulses. Leg and arm eight. Seven. Six. Give me four. Three. Two and one. Turn your right knee out. Extend it long. Take your right hand to the sky. I want you to lean into your left side. Ready? Right leg. Lower halfway and lift. Lower. All right, we're gonna add the upper body again in a moment. Turn your right palm to face forward. You ready? Give me a little bit of a last pull down and a reach. Let's. Oh, are you feeling your right side? If you are, say I am. Come on, Ellen. Reach and pull. Eight. Oh, yes. Seven. Keep extending long for your right leg. Five. Four. You got it. Three. So good. Two. And one. Safely come down. Great work. All right. We've got the other side to go to. So, let's start in the beginning, right? Feet slightly turned out. You're going to curtsy forward. Right heel comes back. Come back and tap. Curtsy forward. Come back, right? Curtsy. Get that movement first before we add your left arm. Remember, back heel has to lift. You ready? Add the anterior reach and pull back. My right palm or my left palm is facing to the right. All right? We've got eight more right here. Good. Seven. Nice. Six. Excellent. Control the movement, Sheila. Come back and hold. Hold it back here. Send your left leg back. You ready? Left arm. Reach and pull. Reach and pull. Good. Just a nice, easy reach. Right knee bent. Left leg stays straight back. For four. Three. Two. And one. Are you ready? Step forward. Anterior reach. Tap. Extend back. Yes. Tap. Forward. And back. Nice. Forward. Back. Yes. Oh, feels good, right? We've got four more like this. One more. Hold it back. Pulse it. Eight, seven, good, six, four, three, two, one. Bring your knee in. Take your left arm all the way up. Left leg out. Take slightly to the right. Lift right here. Yeah, halfway down and lift. Remember, we start with a few, just the legs. Turn your left palm to the sky. You ready? Here we go. Left pull. Reach. Oh, right away, you feel your left side. Make sure you're lengthening long through the left leg. Good. Eight more. Here we go. Eight. That's it, Dan. Come on. Seven. Three. Six. Four more. One more. And release it down. Really nice work. Grab your other weight, please. Can I have both weights in your hands? Let's do just a little more shoulder work. I know you got shoulder work there. We're going to do just a little more shoulder work, okay? With balance. So, feet parallel. Bring your right knee up. Right arm, left arm forward. Right arm right. And back down. Ready? Eight of them like this. Eight. Seven. Nice. Six. And relax it down. Not so bad. Left knee up. Right arm forward, left arm left. Here we go. Just eight of them. Eight. Good. Four more. One 
Shoulder blades squeeze together. Remember, back of the hands towards the wall behind you. One more. Stand it up, bring your arms up. Bring your elbows in and then squeeze back. Bring them all the way forward and all the way back. Good. Forward and back. Your body. 
Take your right leg up again, left leg, lift and lower. Keep your right leg pinned straight, lengthening long and away from your body. Again, feel your waistline right there. Feel it work, yes, rock solid. Four, three, two, up and hold, scissor kick. Eight, seven, six, you got it, down. Four, last three, two, and you hold, feet together, lift, lower, lift. Now, if your bottom hip, your left side is bothering you, you might be pushing down too firmly onto the floor. Make sure you're lifting up. The movement is up, good. Let's take it up and hold, pulse. Eight, seven, four, three, two, one, relax down. All right, come onto your left elbow underneath your left shoulder. Bring your right foot forward. Grab hold of a weight with your right hand. Are you ready? Lift it up right here. You're right here. You good? I want you to rotate, tap that weight to the floor, and lift. Okay, keep pushing away from the earth with your left side. So create a nice arc out of your left side. Rotate, and up, right? Good. Control the movement, lift through your shoulder blade. Yes, four more. Four, if it's too much on your shoulder, take away the weight. Three. Two. One more time. Hold it up and slowly lower down, release the weight. All right, now, I want you to come on up, again, onto your forearms still, knees are in front, bring them back slightly, take your left, your right leg back, flex your foot, lift and lower. Take your right hand behind your head, lift and lower. So we did this movement standing, right? This is called attitude, but if you take your hand around your waist, once again, wrapping into your back, you should feel it. Four, three, two, and one. Go ahead and bring your bottom leg, your left leg forward, right leg out. Tap and lift. Eight, seven, good. Six, you've got four more, that's it. Four, three, two, and one. Nice work. All right, come around onto your stomach, please. Pilates swim stroke with your weight. It is a breaststroke today. Hands by your shoulders. Inhale, lift the upper body up. If you want the bottom legs to come up to you, you can. You ready? Breaststroke for 10. Squeeze through your back. Nine. Good. Here's eight. Excellent. Seven. Take some work here. Six. If your lower back is funny, you put your feet down. You've got four. Three, two, and one. Nice work. Forearms on the ground, elbows under your shoulders, lift your heart, and just give me a nice stretch right here. All right, stretch time is over. Tuck your toes under, push to a plank. Crown your head forward. You're here for one minute, Alyssa, one minute. Nice and strong. You can do it. Remember, thighs are contracted. Crown your head forward. Push away from the earth. Don't collapse into it. If you feel it in your lower back, double check your position. You don't want to collapse in here. Pull your tummy in and up. Come to your knees, come to your hands. You're in a quadruped position. Yes, grab a weight in your left hand. Send your right leg back, flex your right foot. Bring your left hand to your left hip, try some kickback. Just extend and bend. Pull your stomach in. Make sure you're working opposite arm to leg. Give me four, three, two. Hold it up, turn your palm to the sky, pulse your left arm up. Eight, seven, four, three, two, and one. Release your weight down. 
under your forearms. Elbows under your shoulders. You ready? Point your left foot or your right foot. Tap and lift. Tap, lift. It's a diagonal tap down. Squeeze through the right glute. You just have eight more. Seven, you got it. Six. Up and hold. Let's pull. Eight, seven. And one, release it down. Sit back into your child's pose. Reach your arms forward, forehead to back. Nice work. Are you feeling good? We got the other side to get to. So please go ahead and meet me on the mat on your right side. Uh, lay yourself out. Nice and comfortable, yes? Flex your feet, pick them up. Pick your legs up, bring them to the front corner. Drop your right leg. Left leg stays lifted. Once again, grab hold of your waist, lengthen the leg out of your body, then tense your right left fingers. Kick, kick forward, point and drag back. Flex and kick, point and drag. Try to limit the amount of rolling you're doing. Kick and point and drag. Pushing your leg again through something really thick. Good, one more time. Bring your left heel to join your right. Turn your left knee and toes to the sky. Contract your left leg. You ready? Here we go. Lift it three, two, one, point and drag. Flex and lift. Point and drag. Good. Flex and lift. Point and drag. Again, flex and lift. Point and drag. One more time to this tempo. Let's reverse it. Point it up. Flex and drag down three. Good. Point it up. Flex and drag. Two more. With control. Hold it right here. Give me those little circles. Cantaloupe melon size. Oh, we're getting to go into our melon season soon. And reverse it. Stop the movement. Pull your knee in, flex your foot, bicycle through to four. And reverse that movement. Pull your left knee in, place your foot flat on the floor, flex your right foot, lift and lower. Up and hold, pulse. Stop the movement, relax the leg down, send your left leg out to join the right, line it up with your body. Pick your left leg up again, right leg lift and lower. Eight, seven. Up and hold, scissor kicks. Hold them together, lift and lower. Up and hold, pulse. And relax it down. Good job. Come on up onto your right forearm. Again, watch that the right shoulder, right elbow in alignment. Take your left leg in front, pick up the weight, lift it up, right? Right here, so push away, create that arc in that right side. Rotate down the floor with your fingertips and lift. So my left foot is also supporting me, right? So I'm not just suspended. You don't want a whole lot of pressure into your right shoulder. But you want to feel rotation through your right side. Right there. That's it. Four more. You can do it, Diane. Come on. Four. Yes. Three. Good. One more time. Excellent. Lower it down. Relax. Take that weight down. Bring your knees back. Flex your left foot. Take your left leg behind you. Left hand on your back of your head. Lift and lower. You just do eight of these. Into your waistline, into your glute. Up and hold, pulse. 
and release it down. Now bring that right leg forward. That's the bottom leg. Left leg out, left arm up. Tap and lift. Eight, seven, you got it. Six. Up and hold, pulse, pulse, eight. Are you still pushing weight through the right side? And relax down, very nice. Come on to your stomach. Arms reach forward. Inhale, arms and legs up. Give me your Pilates swim strokes. Ground your head forward. Inhale, and exhale out. Four, three, two, and one. Hands underneath your shoulders. Tuck your toes under. Push to a high plank. Line it counts, right? Shoulders over your wrists. Contract your thighs. Crown your head forward. And then bring your knees down to your table position. Grab hold of the weight in the right hand. Send your left leg back. Right hand by your hip. Right to the left foot. Try some extension. Eight. Seven. Let's do eight more. We didn't do a whole lot of triceps today. Here we go. Eight, seven, you got it. Six, four, three. Last one. Hold it back. Turn the palms to the sky. Pulse. Eight, seven. And release it down. Both hands down. Left leg stays back. Diagonal. Tap and lift. One more. Hold it up and pulse. Eight. And one. Release it down. Shift back to your child pose. Alright, find your way back up. Let's do a quick stretch into your hips. So, from plank pose, bring your right knee in for pigeon pose. Remember, if you can't get into this position, go on your back and do a figure four pose. Otherwise, come on down here. Remember, this is your option if you want on your back, like this. Pigeon pose doesn't work for you. Nice stretch into your right butt right cheek. All right, let's switch sides. So push back to your plank, bring your other leg in. Relax the right leg back and come into your pigeon. Thank you. Great class. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Ainsley. Thank you, Ainsley. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Great class. Thank you.